Hazrat Abdullah bin Umar radiyallahu anhu states, I went to Hazrat Hafsa radiyallahu anha. She radiyallahu anha said, Do you know your father is not appointing any vikar? I said, He will not do so. Hazrat Hafsa radiyallahu anha said, He will definitely do so. Hazrat ibn Umar radiyallahu anhu says, I took an oath that I will talk to him in this connection. I then observed silence until the morning dawned, but I did not talk to him in this regard. Owing to taking an oath, I felt as if I had lifted a mountain on my right hand. At last, I went to Hazrat Umar radiyallahu anhu. He inquired of me about the condition of the people. I intimated him of their condition. I then said to him, I heard something from the people and after hearing it, I took an oath to convey that to you. The people say that you will not appoint a successor. In fact, if you have a shepherd for your camels and goats, and he leaving the camels and goat unattended, comes to you, you will say that he has lost the camels and goats. So watching over the people is more vital. Hazrat Umar radiallahu anhu affirmed my stance, bent his head, pondering for some time, then raised his head to me and said, Undoubtedly, Allah Jalla Jalaluhu will guard his religion. If I have not appointed a vikar, Allah Jalla Jalaluhu as well did not appoint a vikar. If I appoint a vikar, Hazrat Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu has already appointed a vikar. Hazrat Ibn Umar radiallahu anhu said by Allah Jalla Jalaluhu, when Hazrat Umar radiallahu anhu talked about Allah's apostle sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam and Hazrat Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu, I came to know that he will not forsake the tradition of Allah's apostle sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam and he will not appoint a caliph. Sahih Muslim Hadith number 4691